Hello and welcome to Infinity. I took this picture on a fairly overcast day, so it's a bit dull and it looks dull here. I exposed the sky because I wanted some detail up there, but it's left this rather bland. So I want to perk this one up. So a way to do that is just put in some brightness and contrast. And I could do it, as always, I can go up to Layer, New Adjustment Layer and get it through here. Oh, I usually prefer to go down here and go to the little circle there which it says adjustments because it's near the layers so I can see it all together. So I got to brightness and contrast there. And now I'm going to turn up the brightness. I'm just looking at the foreground here. And when I do that, you can see it's sort of a, still got a bit of a dull. So if I add contrast to it, it's making the, the whites whiter and the blacks blacker. So it brings it out a lot more. But now, of course, I've lost the sky, so I want to be able to bring the sky back. So a way to do that is to put in a mask. Again, I could go layer, new fill mask, new mask layer there. Or I could have clicked the mask down here with the same effect. So this is white at the moment, which lets everything through, but I want to exclude the sky. So I could do it by painting here. Can I get the paintbrush tool here? Make sure it's black and paint around here. But if I'm doing that, I want this to apply just to the brightness and contrast here, not to everything. So I shift click at the bottom of that. So they're both selected. And then right click and turn that into a group or hit control G. And there I've got this, but you can see the edge there. I've got that bit missing there. So if I open up the group again, click on the mask, I need to sort of get into these bits here, but now I'm overlapping here. So this is going to be very difficult to do. So I'm not going to do it that way. In fact, let's just go back to the beginning and start again. So as before, adjustments and brightness and contrast and turn those both up. Yeah, it was about the same level, wasn't it? Now I want, rather than just put in a mask layer, I need to do a selection first. And so if I select the sky here, I go to the selection brush tool there, select around here. But I've got the brightness and contrast selected there. I need to do it with the background selected so it'll do the match it into the edge here. That's it, because I got snap to edges set there so that it will go into these bits and go as close to those trees as possible. Then to fill in the gaps here, I click on Refine. And it gets everything red, which is not being selected. Then with my brush, I brush over those areas, which I've got a bit in. I'm just saying rethink this lot, please. And it does a rethink. And there you go. That's pretty good. Anything that looks like it needs redoing, give it another click and it should improve it. And then do the same over here. So there you go, that's selected quite nicely. So I apply that and I've got a selection. Now what happens is if I st set a mask now, what's going to happen is it's automatically it's going to put white into the area selected and black into the area that's not selected. Now at the moment I've got the sky selected, so I'd like it to be white down here to keep the adjustments down here and not to put that brightness and contrast up there. So I need this to be black. So what I'm going to do is invert the selection. So I go to select, invert pixel selection. And now it's coming down here. So this is selected. So now when I put in a mask, it will automatically make all this white and all that there black. So if I just click on the mask layer here, or I could go to layer and mask there. And there we go. That's done this here. And if, if I look at this mask layer here, if I go alt click on that, you can see where it's gone black. But there's a few things I need to do here. Click back on the background layer to see this. I'm going to get rid of the select and deselect to get rid of the marching ants. And this mask layer here, 
is of only being applied to the background layer. I want it above the brightness and contrast, so it affects that. So I pull it up and it goes above there. So now I'm getting the brightness and contrast here, but of course it's, it punches all the way through to the bottom. So I need to make it, make it into a group so it just affects the brightness and contrast. So I click on the mask there, hold down the shift key and click down there, then right click there and then go to group. And then the mask applies only within the group. So now I've excluded the sky from that adjustment. And so that mask there is applying to this brightness and contrast here. And it's letting the sky come through from the original layer down here without being any having any brightness and contrast applied to it. So that's a very important point, a very useful point, that when you make a selection, you can turn it into a mask a lot easier and a lot more effective than trying to paint it. That's it, and thank you very much for watching.